So, one application for example, one application is the electron diffraction pattern means I am giving you an experimental idea. So, electron diffraction pattern you will have a central spot and then you will have several other spots. Let us say this is your electron diffraction pattern which you got. This was the film uh, where you are recording the diffraction pattern what is happening is the electron beam is coming from top somewhere from the electron gun and your sample is somewhere here. Which is crystal. So, you can give the beam direction that in the crystal what direction the x ray so the electrons were passing. So, that beam direction in the crystal will be UVW. And each of the diffraction spot you know from Bragg's law is coming from a plane. So, the indexing of the diffraction spot is in terms of the plane. H k l and here also you can show that Bragg's law will be satisfied only if the beam direction and the plane the spot satisfy the wise zone law. So, you will always in an electron diffraction pattern you will have h u plus k v plus l w is equal to 0 where now h k l is your diffraction spot and u v w is your beam direction. So, here we are not going into that uh, sort of uh, experimentation, but uh, let me just show you a quick example of what we did last time. So, redoing line of intersection of two planes. Let us take up exactly the same problem. So, this is one of the things the another geometric application of weiss jones law. Two applications of weiss jones law if two planes are given you can find the common direction. If two directions are given you can find the plane passing through the direction. So, remember that we had a we geometrically drew in, in within the unit cell we were given two planes. 1 1 1. So, we drew the 1 1 1 plane and then we had 1 we had 1 bar 1 0 direction uh, 0 plane. So, 2 planes. So, for 1 bar 1 0 so we took the origin there 1 bar 1 1 bar 1 our axis system is x y and z. So, if I ch choose the origin here 1 along x 1 along y and 1 along z. So, I get the red plane 1 1 1. If I choose the origin here 1 along x is this minus 1 along y is that and uh, 0 means in parallel to the z axis. So, my plane is like this now. So, these were the two planes and there by our visualization we saw by our drawing or construction that this is one common point, this is another common point. So, this was the line of intersection and then we just indexed it by let us say choosing the origin here. So, we index it half along x, half along y and minus 1 along z, half, half minus 1 which we said by multiplying by 2 
the direction was 1 1 2 bar. You can use weiss john law to verify your result. Okay. If this direction is the line of intersection, it should be lying on both the planes. So, it should lie on 1 1 1 as well as it should lie on 1 1 bar 0 and you can quickly see that that is true because 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 0 which shows that 1 1 2 is lying in 1 1 1 plane. And with the second one, 1 into 1 plus minus 1 into 1 plus 0 into minus 2, that also gives you 0. So, that is a check on our geometrical answer that we have not made any mistake, we are on the right track. However, there was this drawing at all was not required. We could have taken a purely algebraic approach So, we, there we will say let since we want to find the line of intersection let u v w we do not know we want to solve that let u v w be the line of intersection of 1 1 1 and 1 bar 1 0. So, line of intersection means the line should lie in both the planes. So, I should be able to apply the weiss john law. So, so u v w lies in 1 1 1 because it is a line of intersection. So, this gives us u into 1 v into 1 w into 1 is equal to 0 by weiss john law u plus v plus w is equal to 0. But since it is a line of intersection it lies in the other plane also. u into 1 v into minus 1 w into 0 is 0. So, u minus v is equal to 0. This is also by uh, again the second application of weiss john law. So, I can as well write this as u equal to v. I can substitute once I have found that u and v are equal I can use that in 1. So, substituting 2 in 1 we have u plus u plus w is equal to 0 which gives w is equal to minus 2 u. So, from 1 sorry from Two and three, two and three. What what do I get? The line of intersection U V W. U V W was our line of intersection. Two established that V is U. So for V, I write U. Three establishes that W is minus two U. So I write U minus two U. 
So, I have got everything in terms of u thanks to the God given rule that I can divide by any common factor u is the common factor now. So, the same direction can be written as 1 1 bar 2. So, in this process there was no need means I did not even picture where is my 1 1 1 plane, where is my 1 1 1 bar 1 0 plane and where is my line of intersection 1 1 2 is coming just like a computational exercise I am getting. So, I am getting the answer. So, it is a good way to get an answer it means if you are writing a computer program to handle any such crystallographic exercise you will write like this that means because computer cannot do the geometrical visualization which you are doing to find the line of intersection. But as uh, beginning students of crystallography I will recommend that actually whenever such exercise comes you try to do both ways. Okay. This uh, uh, algebraic method will always succeed, geometrical method will require a little bit of more visualization drawing, but here you see with respect to the unit cell I am able to actually see 1 1 1 plane, 1 bar 1 0 plane, the line of intersection coming this way inclined. So, that develops your visualization skills and intuition, because 3 dimensional visualization skill is very very important in crystallography. If you want to do crystallography purely algebraically um, that is that is the uh, a hard way you can, but uh, and sometimes it may appear simpler also that why draw all this and why visualize just compute numbers, uh, but you should try initially at least till you become quite familiar you should try both ways.